From the main, main restaurant manager screen, you have a lot of functionality down here on the bottom from these buttons here. Um, you can access the full functionality by logging in, pressing begin, and entering a password. And then from here, all these buttons will brighten up and you have the full functionality to use these. So here's the employee button, for example. This is where people can clock in and clock out. Let's say we're going to clock in Donna. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. The um, prompt is for her job position. So let's say Donna's going to be a wait staff at that time. Now Donna automatically has this email coming to her announcing a sales contest um, with a hundred dollar prize. She can keep that email or print it or um, delete it. So let's say she's going to delete it, and then it'll indicate that she's clocked in. So now if we look at employees again, we'll see that Donna's in green, meaning that she's clocked in, and the other employees that are not clocked in are in gray right now. Um, other options um, we can access are the cash tray options. Um, this is where we can, can start and finalize a tray. We could also view trays right here. Here's a cash tray that's open. If we click edit, this will show us the information about the cash tray as far as any tips and credit card fees, um, final cash that's in that drawer. Um, right here, the total is zero because we haven't put any dollar amounts or um, coins in over here to the left. But if we go ahead and do that and press OK, all of this will calculate real easily um, for the cash tray. And then you could run a cash tray report from that button as well. Um, you could put the training uh, mode on by hitting training mode. And it just will be flashing. Now that everything is flashing, you can just practice whatever, whatever you, you can put a new employee in front of the computer to start practicing and they'll be on training mode. To take it out of training mode you just press it again and it'll indicate that we're in live. Oops, I pressed a table. Um, so these tables um, that are that are here on the main screen, um, these would be the tables in the main section. There's multiple sections here that you can um, set up. So if we had a deck, for example, we could have the tables look this way or have different decorations and things to really look like your restaurant or you could have a more um, plain background like this. The white tables are empty, no one's sitting there. The blue tables, people are dining at, at that table. The red tables, people um, have had their receipt printed. So that table um, also here has a warning signal on it, an alarm, both of these do, indicate indicating that it's been waiting too long for a certain kind of service. So. In this case, the check's been printed. We can tell it's red, so it's been a certain amount of time since that check's been printed. And we set those times when we do the installation. So um, back to these buttons down here, we could reprint a check. We could revise tickets, like for tips, for example, by employee. We could also adjust tips from right here and issue gift cards. Um, also, from here, we could ring up a quick transaction. So that's a transaction where somebody's just presenting us with the money at that moment and it's not tied to a table. That would be a fast transaction. Info, if we press info and we press the table, that'll give us the information on the table. So the current time is uh, 3.33, so it's been 17 minutes since this um, check has been printed. So that's probably why there's an alarm on it. So we would pay attention to that table and see what's going on there. Um, the flash report, this will give us um, a report either maybe on the cash tray or on all orders. And this will um, total out uh, things for the day as well as give you how many checks and averages um, for, for customers and, um, and tables that have been in today. Um, so that's the flash report. You could also transfer items as well as um, set up advanced orders, reservations, you could go into tabs, which is a little bit different than tables. If I press that, you'll see that we have a list of transactions over here, usually with names on them. And the same theory, this one is red because the check has been printed. So, and these are in gray because the people are sitting there dining on those checks. Um, so those are just some of the functionalities that you'll find on the um, bottom portion of Restaurant Manager's main screen.